morning, Refrigeration World. Today I have this walk-in cooler that is not maintaining temp. And judging, I have a clear coil right now. All of my fans are running. But I can already tell you, if you can hear that, is low on refrigerant. So we're gonna go up to the roof, check the sight glass, and uh, see if we can't find anything wrong with it, but. All right, gentlemen, so this is our walk-in cooler right here. We do have a flashing sight glass. Um, I just confirmed I was back here in August and I cleared that up, filled up the system. It is now March, so August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Seven months. Uh, we're gonna see if we can find a leak uh, this time and uh, we will see what happens. But first, we're gonna charge this up. Actually, what I'm gonna do is. I am going to to charge this unit with our field piece probes. I'm going to be using one hose and a charging tee by Appion. All right, gentlemen, we got uh, hooked up to this unit, and my suction probe just went out. <laughs> um, all right, so that's on the suction line. You got your T on there, put your probe on the side, hose up top, or vice versa, doesn't matter. We're just gonna hook it up. So it's R22, and we're definitely low. Uh, look at that superheat, look at that head pressure. So we're gonna go ahead and start adding some, some refrigerant. Well, I don't understand some people that say, well, why do you need probes if you can't charge the system? using probes you still got to go get your analogs I mean I'm a big fan of analog gauges but proof right there it's the charging tee the one hose and your probes on it that's it come on baby here's the only drawback about charging with probes this is an iPhone, so it's not like the uh, connection's not that great. The only drawback about Bluetooth, connectivity sometimes. There it is, so we're still running low. I'm just gonna bottle feed it a bit, open it up a bit. Gen, so we're looking a little better. Super heat's at 30. So, but we still have a flashing sight glass. So, that's about it, gentlemen. That's all you can do. Just keep on uh, bottle feeding it. Clear that sight glass. Make sure you're not overcharged. Let's see where we're at over here. Head pressure is looking a lot better. Ah, there we go again. Stupid ass probes. Personally, I still prefer my analogs. Still got a flashing sight glass, so I'm still gonna feed some refrigerant to it. That's it. Just gotta keep on monitoring your uh, your pressures, saturation, superheat, and bottle feed it slowly. Clear that sight glass. Now we're gonna add some more, make sure we're not overcharged, and then uh, head on downstairs. So, uh oh, that's the only thing that sucks about probes. But usually they bounce right back. I see how long it takes them this time. There they are. Head pressure is looking a lot better. 
Ah, there we go again. Stupid ass probes. Personally, I still prefer my analogs. Alright, gents. So we got a clear sight glass now. Um, I went downstairs and set the thermostat back to 36, 37. Now we're just going to watch it pump down, make sure it's not overcharged. And then we'll go do a uh, leak check. Safe pump down. So essentially cleared the side glass, added a couple more pounds of refrigerant, and you know instead of busting out the torch and doing all this, which I I admit it's a better better uh, way of knowing where you're charged at. Uh, you added a few more pounds and make sure it has a safe pump down. It's not massively overcharged. So we're gonna go ahead and button this up and go look for a leak down at the evaporator. Nylog. I put that shit on everything. Put some right here. here because I know this little valve's leaking so I'm sure some, some nylog in there put some on that one as well that's it all right gents <clears throat> So this tank weighs 17 pounds, 9 ounces. She's completely empty, 5 pounds. So we added about 12 pounds from this one. And then this was a brand new drum, so we're going to go off of 35. So 34 pounds, so a pound from here. So that's not bad. 13 pounds altogether. Not horrible. So now we'll weigh this. 34, 34 pounds, 2 ounces. That's just the way I do it. I'm not going to have to put 2 ounces. <laughs> Alright, gentlemen, so leak detector went off in this area. And if you can see the condition of the copper, it's pitted all over. Starting to get some of right there. I mean, these are pinhole leaks. got a bunch of microscopic leaks so we're gonna recommend replacement on this unit on this evaporator at least condensing units good but look at the condition of that copper it's in, it's in pretty bad shape I guarantee you I put some nitrogen in this thing and we'll have leaks all over the place but we're not gonna do that today we just got them up and running Look at that. So we just got them up and running and uh, we're going to recommend a replacement of this evaporator. Uh, it's seen better days. Somebody fixed a leak somewhere in here. Or someone just ripped out those fans but I'm gonna go ahead and recommend replacing this.